Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Hudson. Uh, if you have not seen the show before, my name is Art Bergeron. My day job, I work as an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Um, but this is not about my day job. It's about my friends, Frank and Mary. If you've been to our pre my presentations at the Senior Center, you see that I always talk about Frank and Mary and their goal in life, which is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if that's here, then they don't want to leave Hudson. They want to stay right here. They don't want to go to Marlboro. They don't want to go to San Diego with their kids. They want to be right here. So the question is, who are the people you know, need to know about? What are the programs you need to know about in order to be able to stay right here? And if you're thinking that maybe you don't want to stay just in your house, and by the way, with COVID, people are getting real tired of being in their house. Um, you've probably gone by the Artisan, which is this new super duper place so um, as, as many of you know, um, John Parent, who has been a selectman now for a long time. John, is it like six, six years now? That you've years been? now, yeah. Six years, yeah, so a long time. And it's just been here forever. And so most people know him and he knows everybody. So he mm -hmm. has been finding the wonderful guests that we've had on over the last several weeks, right? John's been joining me as a co-host now for a couple, three months now. Um, but John had talked about wanting to get folks to, to come here and, and from the artisan to talk about all of this. So, so John, who do we have here today? Yeah, it, it's a real pleasure to introduce Michelle Jones and Andy Donovan, uh, both representatives of the artisan. And before I turn it over to them to explain their programs and what's going on, I, I just want to make a, a couple of brief comments that this is a tremendous asset, I believe, uh, to the town of Hudson. Uh, we did not have a facility like this before you guys came in and built this uh, just beautiful project. Uh, so you're a very, very welcome uh, addition to, to the uh, town. Uh, with that, I'm anxious to learn more uh, about what you're doing and how you're doing it and uh, how we can get more people uh, to take a look at your facility. So with that, whoever wants to leave off, uh, start off, either Michelle or Andy, uh, if you'll kind of take it from here, that'd be great. Great, well, thank you for having us on the show, first of all, we appreciate that. And um, we have been made to feel very welcome here in the Hudson community. Um, everyone who has visited us both at our welcome center before we opened our community and here at the new building, has told us how wonderful they think it is that we are here. So thank you so much to the entire community of Hudson for making us feel so welcome. So here at the Artisan at Hudson, uh, my role is the Connections Director. I'm the director of our memory care neighborhood called Connections. And Andy is the director of Life Enrichment, um, which provides programs and activities for all of the residents in our community. Would you like me to give you an overview of what we provide here, what we have to offer? That'd be great. Great. Well, here at Artisan at Hudson, we have 149 apartments. Um, 61 of them are in independent living and 65 are in assisted living and 23 are in the Connections Memory Care neighborhood. And um, we have all inclusive services for our residents. Um, we provide an independent living. We provide a meal plan, a flexible meal plan, which is two meals a day. The residents get to select which two meals those would be. All three meals are served in a couple of different locations. We have a beautiful fine dining room. In the nicer weather, we'll have outdoor patio dining, and we have a cafe for lighter fare as well. Um, and then uh, we do have a pub for happy hour. Uh, so uh, two adult beverages a day, beer or wine, are included as part of the flexible meal plan as well. They can be enjoyed in the pub or in the dining room with one's meal. And then also included would be weekly housekeeping service, um, also utilities, so heat, individually controlled heat and electricity, um, air conditioning, Wi-Fi connectivity, and cable TV. So the only utility our folks have would be their phone, whether it's a cell phone or a landline. In our independent living community, we're very happy and excited to offer an underground climate control parking garage. 
um, and every resident uh, has a space for their vehicle. The elevator goes right down to the parking garage and then up to the lobbies on each floor, which is really convenient, especially when we get surprised by October snow. Um, and then um, also, of course, Andy's wonderful enrichment program, life enrichment program with all kinds of activities to keep us busy. We do offer transportation throughout the community. We have a 12 passenger bus that will take residents on shopping trips and excursions. And we also have a private car and driver that will take our residents anywhere they wish to go in a 10 mile radius complimentary. So it's a pretty uh, jam packed um, array of services that we offer. In assisted living, we offer the same package of services. Uh, we have one additional meal per day. So three meals a day are included as well as um, up to a half hour a day of personal care assistance. If anybody needs assistance with those activities of daily living, getting up, getting ready for the day, showering, getting ready for bed at night or a medication reminder. We have staffing here 24 hours a day to help with that. Um, and then in addition to the weekly housekeeping, we offer a daily tidy up service. So our housekeepers will come into the apartment, take out that day's trash, make the bed if the resident would like that and also weekly laundry service. And then in memory care, it's an all-inclusive package of care. So residents get up to either two hours a day of personal care assistance or up to three hours a day of personal care assistance included in their rate. So I think it's a pretty beefy, um, beefy uh, program and a lot of services that are included. Excellent. So Michelle, how do people contact you uh, in order to take a tour or to get more information? Sure, well, they can either visit our website, which is um, artisanathudson.com. And there's a form on the website that one could fill out with their um, contact information that comes right into our community relations department, our marketing department. And um, if someone's interested in memory care, they'll hear from me. If they're interested in assisted living or independent living, they'd hear from the director of community relations, which would be Beth Burns. Um, or they can call the main number here, which is 978-763-7111 and ask to speak with someone for more information and to schedule a tour of our community. And we're giving tours seven days a week. Excellent. Now, you, you had a welcome center across the street. We uh, did. For quite a while, which I, yeah. um, as mentioned, I had paid you a visit a couple of times. Uh, is that still open or is that closed? No. no, that's closed now. The welcome center was open from approximately May of 2019 until we moved into the new building and then we closed it. Yeah. Very good, very good. Arthur, do you have any questions? I was just going to say, so for, obviously from the, in the old days, people could just kind of stop in, you know, and, oh, let me, let's have a tour, but that's yeah. no, that's no longer the case the, it, it, but I'm assuming that's no longer the case. People, no. people need, people need to call ahead. Yeah. No, no they don't. No, people no. can walk in and take a tour. So anyone no. that enters our right. community will come in through the assisted living main entrance and they will um, see the concierge. We have 24 hour concierge service and um, the concierge will give them a questionnaire with some questions about their exposure to COVID and then take their temperature. And if someone has a temperature of 100 or more, they will not be allowed into the community. Otherwise, uh, we will give them a tour of the community on a walk-in basis. Wow. Wow. That's great. That's, That's great. great. And the only other thing I was just going to kind of add a, a just a comment. So I get it. I did get a chance to go through the place about with 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 some of these folks about a month ago, and it really was quite something. And one of the things that you really come to appreciate in these kinds of in these newer communities, and this is obviously one of them, is on the memory care side. As you know, John, a lot of the folks that I deal with, kind of in my day job, are folks who have, who have got memory issues and their family and stuff. And the note, and, and I always tell people, you know, you want to stay, everybody, Frank and Mary want to stay home. Frank and Mary don't want to go anyplace else. But if you're going to go someplace, but, and I tell them, that's a great idea as long as you're safe, as long as you're safe at home. Because what you don't want is you don't want to fall down. Because then, you know, we're talking nursing home. Nobody wants that as the end result, you know. 
So if if you can't stay at if if it is getting just risky to stay at home, you really need to be looking at these kinds of alternatives. And the other thing I'll always mention to them is typically the people will they'll like roll their eyes. Oh my God, it costs so much money. And I'll say, well, yeah, but but add it up compared to what? Compared to all the food that you're now you know spending money on, mm-hmm. compared to the driving that you're doing, which you now if you don't want to. No longer have to do, it, you know, it's, it's always compared to what, you know, and then, and so maybe this marginal difference in cost, it's a difference, you know, but it, but do you want to fall, you know, do you want to make sure that there's a place, it's all, you know, in the middle of the winter, it's all indoors, there's places to, it's really wonderful. So I think, you know, I always strongly, strongly recommend that people look at these places, right? Mm-hmm. And because it's in Hudson, it's still in Hudson. So you can't be in your house, but you're still in Hudson. You're still Frank and Mary here in Hudson. Right? Yeah. Just as, yeah. as a yeah. observation. Very good. We have a really neat tool called the cost comparison tool that we give to people that would like to, you know, be able to map out what their current costs are living at home and then what their costs would be living here and to do that side by side comparison. And a lot of people love that tool. It's a great visual. So we're happy to provide that. Very good. Andy, you want to pick it up from here? Yeah, sure. So to reiterate what Arthur was saying, one of the major benefits of these type of places, retirement communities really are the social aspect. And in my position, life enrichment, other places call them activity directing, uh, the programs, whatever it is. Um, it's, It's really a fun job in which so many, a variety of residents coming in based on what they're interested in. I've learned, I'm coming up on 20 years in this field and I I can't tell you how much I've learned that has enriched my life based on also what residents coming in wanna pursue. And it could be one thing that they did in the past, doesn't mean to say that they can still enjoy something today and where they're at at that specific moment but um, some of the things that um, we'll be bringing here, of course, is an extensive exercise program. We know to stay physical throughout our lifetime is definitely beneficial. We have arts. Um, Our company, Sage Life, is big into enriching the lives of our residents. And the last year, this past year alone has really taught us with the self-isolation how important it really is to be social with neighbors. And again, I believe that's one of the beauties of these retirement communities and, and, and how they're designed um, in keeping residents stay safe, of course, but also not losing that aspect of wanting to be with others. And it's, it's such a unique field in which to keep everyone happy with whatever they pursue. I mean, a lot of places typically have the bingos. I've worked with some pretty intense bingo crowds over my career, <laughs> and uh, it, it, watch out. Uh, but anyways, it's it's whatever they enjoy. Um, but as far as music to tai chi to yoga, um, again, all the arts. And I just look forward to as residents move into the artisan, all the different things that we'll be doing to help support in any of their leisure activities. And, and of course, the, the wonderfulness of the artisan, they're on the rail trail, right? So every, everybody's been watching this place being built now for the last two years by walking along the rail trail, you know? So to be able to walk in there and from there to walk right downtown, because as you know, John, as a result of the great job you guys have done, this is like the, this is like the signature downtown in the area is the Hudson downtown, right? But yeah, to be cool. able to, to be able to go from there and just walk. Yeah. COVID-19 has slowed us down just a tad, uh, but uh, we've been able to keep a lot of that restaurant business going uh, through the uh, outside dining, uh, which is at this point now very weather uh, dependent. You know, I want to make a comment about the um, location. Um, And this is uh, a real plus for the town of Hudson and something that's helped us grow. Um, Where you're located, whether you're leaving uh, the artisan and wanna go somewhere, or equally important uh, for people who might wanna visit, 
uh, people at the Artisan. You could not be better uh, locality-wise situated. You know, mm -hmm. within a matter of literally a minute or two, you're on 495. Mm -hmm. If you're heading north, you're going to run into Route 2. If you keep going north, you're going to hit New Hampshire. If you turn around and you go the other way, you're going to hit the Massachusetts Turnpike and Route 9. And if you keep going, you're going to wind up in Cape Cod. Uh, you, you can literally get anywhere from here w within a matter of minutes. So it, it's extremely uh, convenient for people, whether you're coming or going. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. So I think that's a real plus uh, as well. Yeah, people have already commented about the ease in um, in commuting to our location to visit their loved ones and also for staff coming into work. We have yeah. staff members coming in from Worcester and it's just a nice clean shot. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, just going back to the Assabet uh, River Rail Trail, uh, we are members of the Assabet River Rail Trail Association. We uh, had membership as of last year. And we do have a beautifully paved path from the back of our property that leads right to the rail trail. And then it's a two mile walk right to downtown. And, um, you know, residents are going to be forming walking clubs where either they can walk downtown and our bus can come and pick them up and bring them back or vice versa. I think the best route, Andy, correct me if I'm wrong, would be to, um, to ride downtown and have ice cream at the micro creamery <laughs> and then oh, yeah. walk off the calories on the walk back. What do you think? <laughs> That's the best. That's I'll be there on those ice cream trips. <laughs> yes, me too. Right. Count me in. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll tell you, all of the rail trail locations in Hudson yeah. uh, get a tremendous amount of use. So yeah. we're, we're very fortunate that we have the rail trail uh, and it extends just a, uh, unbelievably long way as well. At some point, you'll be able to travel the state uh, yeah. on the rail trail, but uh, sure. right, right now, I think it meets most people's needs. And, 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 uh, if have, and, if Frank, and if Frank and Mary were really adventurous, they can even go to Marlboro. They, they can, can walk. <laughs> they go. My, wife, my wife, we're actually on the other end of that rail trail. My wife and I, I can see the Marlboro uh, terminus of the rail trail from my house here. Right, yeah. and so we walk that a lot. We'll, we'll, but we'll often do exactly that. We'll walk, we'll walk, we'll, we'll walk to the ice cream place, and then yeah. we think we paid our dues with the calories, you know. So then yeah. you have the ice cream, and then you can come back, you know. Yeah. So it's very, you know, I've wanted, we've, wanted, I've always tried to convince Pay to just stop and have a glass of wine, but he's like, we'll never make it home. Yeah. <laughs> but this, we'll need, but see, that's what they can take care of you at the artisan because they got, they got a car. You can get a yeah. car to bring you home. Exactly. Right? It's, it's, exactly. It's, it's terrific. It's terrific. one of our residents that just moved in um, actually was walking the rail trail for exercise. And when she decided to move to the artisan, she selected her independent living apartment. And then she saw the schematics of the building and knew right where her apartment was going to be, which has a view of the rail trail. Very so good. while we were building, every time she walked the rail trail, she'd go, that's where my apartment is. And she would take, even when we were at the Welcome Center, she'd take pictures of the progress of the construction yeah. and send them to us and say, my apartment's coming along. I have windows today and I have a balcony now. So it was very exciting for her and her family and all of us to um, to kind of go along that journey with her and watching things come to fruition. So it's very exciting. Now, John, can I just ask Michelle just uh, to talk a little bit about that the the, the memory care community? Because I because once again, certainly for my folks, you know, if you're if you're tr if you're trying to figure out where mom or dad, you know, is going to be, if they're having memory problems. It, 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 once again, it's very convenient. Stuff. And, and I and know when I took the when I took the tour, one of the things that I really liked that goes back to something that Michelle is talking about, the folks being able to get outdoors a lot, is that you have, you know, direct access from the memory care community in that community to a the place where you can where you can be without getting lost. Right. Which of course is everybody's great fear. You know, if right. you if you if you got you've got a relative who's got you've got memory issues is getting lost. But can you just talk about that program a little bit? Sure. So as you mentioned, Arthur, we do have a beautiful enclosed outdoor secure courtyard area with a circular walking path and um, tables and chairs with umbrellas and comfortable seats with cushions. So our residents have access to the outdoors whenever they choose. 
Um, and in the spring, we'll be putting out some raised box gardens and doing some herb gardening and some salad gardening and flower gardening. There's already some beautiful plants. The lavender is out there in bloom. Despite the cold temperatures, it's just going to be a great place for our residents to be outdoors and be safe, as you mentioned. Um, the Connections Memory Care Neighborhood is very, very special. Uh, the first time I toured it when it was complete and furniture was in, I was in tears because it was, I just was so happy the residents were gonna have such a beautiful and secure and wonderful place to live. Uh, they really do deserve it. So I've been uh, um, working in senior care for 36 years and I'm a certified dementia practitioner and the company has been wonderful in providing me um, the training needed to be a certified trainer in TIPA Snow's positive approach to care. TIPA Snow's an internationally um, acclaimed dementia care expert and we provide um, 10 hours of dementia care training through the positive approach to care to all of our employees upon orientation, regardless of where they work in the building and what their job is. So anytime they come in contact with someone anywhere in the building that has memory loss, they have the tools they need, so to speak, to, um, to communicate with and help people with memory loss. And we're very proud of that program. So uh, very exciting, and you have to come and see it for yourself, John. Come on in and take a look. And Arthur, now that it's up and running and beautiful, come back and, and see us again. Very good. Uh, I, I have one more question that uh, I, I can certainly understand why you might not um, do what I'm about to ask, but I'll, I'll ask anyways. Uh, sure. Actually, my wife um, asked me to ask this of you. Uh, at one point in time, uh, she had a pool membership, um, but it was a pretty good ride uh, to get to the facility. Uh, so that kind of brought up the, the question. I, I don't think you do have a pool, is that correct? We don't have a pool, okay. no. All right, uh, and, and that's really not, not the issue. Um, the issue is this, do you have any facilities um, like a gym uh, mm -hmm. or, or some other type of facility that might be available to seniors through some type of membership program uh, uh, where, where they could have access to those facilities? That's a great question, John. So we do have a fitness center here at the Artisan at Hudson on our second floor. And we've contracted with a great company called Move for Life. And mm -hmm. um, we have a personal fitness trainer named Sophia that's dedicated to our building. And uh, we do have a little bit of equipment in the gym right now. We're getting more soon. And she will be training our residents that are interested in knowing how to safely use the equipment. She'll be leading exercise groups throughout the community and helping our residents to attain their, um, their fitness goals. Going back to the pool, we don't have a pool, but we do have an arrangement with Westboro Swim and Tennis Club. Yeah. Um, so our residents at the Artisan can enjoy a special membership of $30 a month for unlimited access to the pool and any programs they have at the club except for tennis and tennis lessons. Uh, they also have waived their yearly membership and initiation fees for our residents. And we will be providing transportation on our bus to the club. Okay. So the answer, yeah. and now, so the and, answer sorry, to go the resident is no. You, you don't at this point. For non-residents? Yes. No. Okay. No, only for residents and, yep. and staff have access to the fitness center as well. Yep. Very good. Thank you. Now I'm just going to add one more, just one more, one more co comment. By the way, that that fitness club is, by the way, where I go, and where I'm going to be going in an hour to <laughs> swim. Uh, and, and for people who are interested in this, and you know, for people like me, I'm a swimmer. That's well, that's that's how I, you know, and I don't swim fast. I don't want. I'm, I'm never in the pool at 6:30 in the morning. Too much testosterone. All these guys <laughs> plowing down and Iron Man. No, I'm the Zen. I'm in the Zen of swimming, right? But for those, but for seniors, right? I will go there. I will guarantee you there'll be a lane for for people like me. If you're going, you're always wondering. Well, oh my God, will I ever get a lane? There is always a lane there, right? So it's a wonderful place. It's a, just a that's a that's a real that's a great additional service, right? Yeah. Now, John, I'm just once again my job is as I said mentioned to these folks at the beginning was to be timekeeper. So I'm looking and, and realizing we're getting close to the to the end. But I want you know, John, if you you want to, you have any final questions before we uh, thank these great people for coming? 
No, I, I just want to thank uh, their company and, and these individuals. Uh, as I said, I, I really look at this as an asset uh, of the town of Hudson. Uh, so we're, re we're glad that you're here uh, and, and we hope that you're very successful. Thank and, you, you know, so much. Thank you. Li yes. Likewise, likewise. Thank you so much for coming. And we hope you can, if you can get information um, uh, to our friend, Sarah McCullough, who is the person kind of behind the scenes really makes these shows happen. And we can make sure that pe people have your contact information if they want to reach out to you, right? Great. John, this was a great idea, I think, having these people, for all those people who've been walking by for two years going, How, what is this going to be like exactly? You know, yeah. Yeah. The, the notion that they can just walk in is, yeah. is, is terrific. That's, That's right. Andy, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. My pleasure. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. And folks, we'll see you on we'll see you all on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Hudson. Thank you very much for watching.